Lee Wong. Lee Wong. Lee Wong. <laughs> Lee Wong. 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 Lee
Thank you. S1K, anything that you do to it, whether you're changing the tire, doing an oil change, like a lot of things that you do to this motorcycle, a check engine light will come on if you don't have the BMW computer um, to help you just, you know, let the system know that everything's okay, whatever you're doing to it, whether you're tuning it, changing the exhaust, etc. A check engine light normally comes up. I put this fuel in there and we have no engine lights. Let me put it in neutral real quick. So we know that the system is working perfectly. There is a gas light because there's not a lot of fuel, but there's no check engine light. So I'm gonna start it up for you. Hey, Julie, that smells different than gas. Hey! 
high, hey, we could all tell. We can start this one if they want to smell the difference between <laughs> this and the pump. Huge. Yeah. So, Howard, get up here. Get up here, Howard. Listen. What was the experience like for you? Were you scared, first of all? This is a very expensive bike. I was, I was definitely scared because, like, I knew that it would work and I knew that it would run and I wasn't worried about, you know, the quality of your fuel and the bike starting up. What I was worried about was, you know, the long-term effects just from, you know, the bike not being tuned to 110. And if I put gas that's not as good as, you know, 97, 91 in there, the bike does not like anything under premium. But the bike is not complaining about anything better than premium right now. Yeah. And For plastic waste, baby! I want you to know that when I first launched it, I thought I was gonna come up in a wheelie. That fuel is definitely burning and combusting a lot better than pump gas. Like, I thought, that's race fuel. Man, and so, this bike, you were t explaining to me before we even did this show that this bike is so finicky, and when it even comes to, if you put the wrong type of fuel in, you'll get a check engine light. Absolutely. Howard, was there a check engine light from 110 off day in Plastiline? No check engine light. Yeah. You heard it here. How'd you feel? Yeah. I feel great. I feel like I'm trying to run some of that on that one and that one and yeah. every bike that I have, period, plastiline. <laughs> so, so your whole fleet is running off of plastic. You, you guys, look, how do you guys think about plastiline? Amazing. Amazing. You guys heard it, you guys were able to smell it, and you saw when that bike literally was a blur, a blip. I, look. I might be biased, but I think it works pretty dang good. And I think it works better than gasoline. How did it sound? Because you're talking about, as a motorcycle enthusiast, you know the sound. Oh yeah, and it definitely sounded way better running on that. Like, that exhaust was spitting flames a lot more than it normally does. You heard it there. Miami, we did it. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much, Howard. Thank you so much, Miami Cam Squad, Bogues Roofing. Uh, where's Laz, the venue owner? Laz, I got something for you. I need a venue owner with the beatbox. Thank you so much to the beatbox. I got something very special for you guys. And of course, we're gonna get the pictures as well, guys, because uh, we, we're gonna prioritize that, especially if it does rain, but it looks like God has been good to us and we didn't get rain so far, even though that forecast said, yo, Laz, where's the I need a venue owner to come up. I got something for a venue owner here. There we go, Laz, all right. Yo, shout out Miguel, shout out Mango, shout out the whole Boombox family. Love you guys. Laz and the whole Boombox team, thank you so much for having us here. And as a token of my appreciation for you guys, allowing me in your venue space and allowing me here in Miami and to all of you for welcoming me with open arms. I am going to give to the Boombox a relic of history, a a sample of plastiline that was put inside the motorcycle right here. I will sign it, and you will have it forever. Thank you. Let's give it up for Julia. There you are. Thank you. And so what we'll do now, as promised, I know so many of you have been patient, and thank you for your patience. We will begin the pictures uh, uh, around the bike after pictures. Uh, as long as weather still permits, we will still do the auction, and we will still have our performances from Piccolo and from all the other rest of the great artists here. So stay tuned. It's not the end of the show, but you guys saw right there the capability of plastic. One more time. Plastic is not waste. It is fuel. Say it with me. Plastic is not waste. Everybody that's got a sticker for pictures, you start a line here and we're gonna get the bike ready and you'll be able to take your pictures. All right? In the meantime, DJ, can we get some music? Uh,
Guys, if you have not yet, go into the jab booth. Make sure you grab you a sticker, any donation of any size from five and up. We'll get you a sticker to get in this line and take a picture, a personal picture for today, which marks history for the first time, plastiline put into a motorcycle. Ever. Special thanks again to all of our sponsors, all of our artists, the COD, Chico's on Deck, Red Dirt, Piccolo, Numa, Deja. We got a lot of more people coming up, guys, so just stay tuned.